Hi friends, welcome to Hey Academy. Today I am going to tell you about the six types of simple machines and what is a lever and its details. Sometimes we find it difficult to do certain work with our hands. So we use tools or machines to make our work easier as it requires less energy. Simple machines are devices that make doing work easier and faster by using less effort for more work. They have few or no moving parts. So there are six types of simple machines. They are lever, pulley, wheel and axle, inclined print, screw and wedge. So first let us see what is a lever. A lever is a long rigid bar that rests on a fixed point called fulcrum which lifts or moves loads. A lever is usually a long machine that is put under an object to lift it. Levers are used in our daily life and are also around us. Examples of levers include door handles, crowbars and bottle openers. So a lever has three main components, effort, load and fulcrum. Effort, it is the force that a user applies on the lever. Load. It is the weight of the body on which the work is to be done. Fulcrum. It is the fixed point about which the lever moves freely to do the work. So there are three kinds of levers. First class lever, second class lever and third class lever. So now let us see what is the first class lever. So a first class lever, the fulcrum is in between the load and the effort. Few examples of a cl class 1 lever are the seesaw, scissors, pliers, crowbars and catapult. So here the fulcrum is in between the effect and load. See, so the fulcrum in a scissors is the uh, dot here. So the effect will be accepted here and the load is here. Now let's see the second class lever. So in the second class lever, the load is placed in between the fulcrum and the effect. Some of the class 2 levers in daily use are wheelbarrow, nutcracker, bottle opener. In a nutcracker, the load is in between the fulcrum and the effort. So now let's see the third class lever. So in a third class lever, the Effort is in between the load and the fulcrum. Some examples are the fishing rods, tongs, tweezers, forceps and broom. Wait for a second. Do you know how many molecules are there in a drop of water? 100, 1000 or 10,000? Want to get the answer? So please watch the video, what is matter and the states of matter after watching this video. So now let's get back to the topic. So what is a pulley? A pulley makes lifting of loads much easier. It is provided with a rope or chain that can move things up and down or back and forth. An elevator is an example of a pulley. So pulley are of two types, fixed pulley and a mobile pulley. So what is a fixed pulley? A pulley that remains fixed to its position is known as a fixed pulley. This type of pulley does not reduce or increase the force applied. It only changes the direction of the force. So now let's see what is a movable pulley. So a movable pulley is a pulley that moves with the load. So at times we need to lift very heavy loads, much heavier than our own weights. For example, lifting of a car and cargo. For lifting such loads, the fixed pulley are not enough as they do not reduce the effect. So, here we make use of the mobile pulley. A mobile pulley is a pulley that moves with the load. So, what is a wheel and axle? A wheel and axle is a simple machine with a wheel and an axle or a rod that allows the wheel to be turned. Examples of wheel and axle include bicycles, electric fans, revolving doors, doorknob and merry-go-round. Wheel and axle is also useful for drawing water from the well. Now let's see what is an inclined plane. 
an inclined plane is a ramp in an inclined plane one end is leveled higher than the other so as to allow objects to be moved from a lower place to a higher place or vice versa when you move objects over an inclined plane you would use less energy or force thus making the work of the moving things is here the best example of an inclined plane is a slide that children play on see here one end is higher than the other so now let's move to the screw so a screw is a modified inclined plane that travels in a circle around the central point a screw can raise weights or it can press or fasten objects screws can be tightened to hold objects together with the help of a screw driver so now let's see what is a wedge a wedge is an inclined plane where the point edges are used to do the work For examples of wedges include shovel, knife, axe, needle, etc. So here the pointed edge, which you can uh, see it is circled in red color, here, so is used to do the work to cut uh, objects like vegetables. It's fact file time. Did you know that the simple machine lever was originated by Greek philosopher Archimedes around the third century BC? So he is Archimedes. So that is all about the simple machines. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates of our channel. Have doubts? Type it in the comment section or please mail it to behavior.academy at gmail.com and also share it with your friends.